Hadith number 5 Aban ibn Abi Ayash has narrated from Sulaim ibn Qais al-Hilali. Sulaim said, I heard Salman Farsi saying, On the day of judgment, Iblis will be bought with rain made of fire. Zufa will be bought with two rains of fire attached. Iblis will go to him and will scream and say, May your mother cry for you, who are you? I am the one who involved Awaleen and Akhirin in discord, but I have only one reign and you have two. So he will say, I am the one who ordered and was obeyed, and I disobeyed God's command. Note Alama Majlasi, radiallahu anhu, in Bihar, volume 22, page 223, writes, Zufar is Umar, and Hipter is his companion because the weight of Zafar is the same as Umar. Hipter means fox, which is very cheating, cunning. His companion, Abu Bakr, was a cheater, cunning. Hadith number 6 Sulaim ibn Qais al-Hilali has narrated, I was told by Abu Zar, Salman al Migdad, and I heard from Ali salam. One person prided himself over Ali salam. So the Prophet wasallam said to Ali alayhi salam, Oh my brother, you pride yourself over all Arabs. You are more reputable as a cousin, as a gather, as a brother, as an individual, and also as a family, more reputable, relating to wife, children, and uncle. And in the way of Allah, the one who has tolerated most hardship, as far as yourself and wealth is concerned, most complete in patience, and the first one to accept Islam, most knowledgeable in Allah's tradition, on the day of war, fighting with the enemy, bravest at heart, most generous as far as hands are concerned, farthest from the world, and the one whose actions are the best in manners, the most honest with his tongue, and my and Allah's best friend. O oh Ali, after me, you will remain alive for thirty years. You will worship Allah and bear with patience the oppression of Quraysh. Then, if you find helpers, you will fight in the way of Allah, keeping the hidden meanings of Quran in front. You will fight... You will fight in the same manner that you fought staying with me, keeping the visible meaning with whom you fought, with those people of my this community who broke the allegiance after paying it to you, and left the right path, and left the belief. Then you will be martyred, and your beard will be coloured with your blood, and your killer will be similar to the one who cut the she-camel's legs. For this he will be God's enemy, and he will not be near to me or near to God. He will be like the killer of Yahya ibn Zakaria, and like Pharaoh who had nails. Abba narrates that he, narrating from Abu Zar, told the above to Hassan Basari. He, Hassan Basari, said, Sulaim told truth, and Abu Zar also told truth, that Ali ibn Abu Talib was foremost in belief, knowledge, wisdom, jurisprudence, opinion, relation, virtue, reputation, meeting people, sociable in war and in bravery, generosity, helping people, knowledge of decision, relation to the Holy Prophet, and knowledge of final talk and suffering, difficulties in Islam. Surely in every matter his work was highest. May Allah have mercy on Ali and send his blessings on him. Then he cried so much that his beard became wet with tears. Aban narrated, I asked Hassan Basari, O oh Abu Sa'id, when you speak about anybody else except the Holy Prophet, do you say, Sallallahu Alaihi? He replied, when you talk about Muslims, pray for mercy for them, and recite Salawat on Muhammad and Al-Muhammad, and Ali is the best among the Al-Muhammad. So I asked, O oh Abu Sa'id, is he better than Hamza, Ja'far, Fatima, Hassan and Hussein? He replied, Yes, by God, he is best of all, and who would doubt him in being best? I asked why. He replied, He has never uttered shirk, or kufr, or worshipped idols, or drunk. Ali is the best, as he was the first to accept Islam, and knew Allah's book and the tradition of the Holy Prophet. The messenger of Allah told Lady Fatima, I married you to the one who is the best among my ummah. And if... There was anyone better than him, 
then he sallallahu alaihi wa sallam would have made an exception and the holy prophet declared ali his brother when he declared brotherhood among people so the holy prophet himself is the best in the entire ummah and as a brother also he is the best on the day of ghadir khum he ali was appointed and what wilayat he had, he made the same wilayat of Ali compulsory on people. He said, Whosoever Mola I am, Ali also is his Mola. And he told him, Ali, you are to me what Harun was to Musa. And he did not relate like this to anyone else in his Ahlul Bayt or in the Ummah. Ali has so many virtues in which he was foremost and his merits are such that nobody else had. Aban says, I asked, who is the best in this ummah after Ali? He replied, his wife and his children. So I asked, after them who? He replied, then Ja'far and Hamza. From people, the best are companions of the cloak, for whom the verse of purity, Surah Ahzab 33, was revealed, in which the Holy Prophet entered himself and let Ali, Fatima, Hassan and Hussein enter. Then he said, These are my trusted ones and my family. Allah has kept all evil away from them and has purified them in a manner that they deserve to be purified. At that time, Umm Salma requested to be let in along with the Holy Prophet and them under the cloak. The Holy Prophet told her, Oh Miss Salma, you were on the right path, but this verse is revealed for me and them specially. I said, Allah, Oh Abu Sayyid, what you say about Ali and what I heard you saying about them. He said, O oh brother, I am saving my blood from this forceful tyrants. May Allah curse them. O oh brother, if it was not that, then the stick would lift me, would be hanged. But I am saying that you heard, so that when this matter reaches them, they will stop. And what I say in enmity towards Ali is an Ali apart from Ali ibn Abi Talib, so that they think I am enemy of Ali. Allah says, repel evil by what is best. We know best what they describe. Surah Bubinun 96, which means Taqiya. Hadith number 7. Aban narrated, he heard from Sulaim, who said, I heard Ali ibn Abu Talib salam, say, the Ummah will be separated in 73 sects, of which 72 will go to hell and one will go to heaven. From the 73, 13 will show their love towards us, Ahlul Bayt, from which one will go to heaven and 12 will go to hell. The sect which will be saved will be the one which is guided, which is hopeful, which has Iman, obeys command, bows his head, is agreeable and intelligent. It is he that trusts me and bows his head to my command, obeys my command, chooses to keep away from my enemy, loves me, keeps enmity with my enmity, has recognized my rights and imamat, and has realized my obedience compulsory through the book of Allah and the tradition of the Holy Prophet and has not become an apostate and has not doubted because Allah has enlightened his heart with the knowledge of our rights and has recognized our merits and all this has sunk into his heart and it is written on his forehead. Allah has entered him in my Shias until his heart is satisfied and has developed surety, yakin that there is no doubt included. Surely I and my Osiya after me till the day of judgment will guide and are guided and are those whom Allah has shown through a lot of verses of Quran to be nearest to him and his prophet and has made us pure and infallible and has made us witness for his creation, declared us hujjat, authority on his earth, made us a treasure of his knowledge, minds of his wisdom, translators of his message, kept us with the Quran and kept the Quran with us. We will not separate from it and it will not separate from us until we reach the heavenly fountain of the Holy Prophet, as he has said, and this is the one sect out of the 73 that will be saved from hell and will be saved from discord, misguidance and doubts and this surely is from the dwellers of heaven and these are 70,000 who will enter heaven without being questioned 
as 72 sects have chosen false deen and are helpers of the deen of shaitan and have taken that deen from shaitan and its friends. These are enemies of Allah, his prophet and the faithful and will go to hell without any reckoning, hisab. These people will be far from Allah and his prophet. They have forgotten Allah and his prophet, have associated partners to Allah, are idolaters and have denied him and except God have worshipped others in a manner that they do not even know. They think that they have done a good deed on the day of judgment. They will say, by Allah our Lord we were not polytheists. Surah Anam 23 And on that day that Allah will raise them up all Then they will swear to him as they swear to you And they think that they have something Now surely they are the liars Surah Mujadila 18 Sulaim says I asked, O Amir al-Mu'mineen what do you think about those who stopped, did not accept you as Imam, but do not consider you an enemy, are not jealous of you, are not very devout in their religion, did not accept your wilayat, and also did not stay away from your enemies, and said, I do not know anything, is he right? Imam replied, he is not from these 73 sects. The Holy Prophet has taken those 73 sects as those who are deniers, enemies, who came forward and called people towards their deen. From these, one will be the one that has chosen Allah's deen. And 72 will be those who chose Shaitan's deen and will love the deen that they accepted. They will stay away from those who oppose their deen. But those who believe in Tawheed and have brought Iman on the Holy Prophet, but do not know our wilayat and do not know the misguidance of our enemies, have not made halal or haram, and have chosen those things in which there is no disagreement and which Allah commanded. In these matters where there is disagreement in the Ummah, they stay away, not sure of whether it has been commanded or not. So they have not chosen to be enemy or have not made lawful or unlawful. So, have no knowledge and whatever difficulty they come across, they leave it to Allah, so they will be saved. This sect is in between the faithful and idolater, and majority of people are like that. And these are those that will be asked to reckon, whose deeds will be weighed, and are of Araf, a place between hell and heaven and are those dwellers of hell for whom prophets, angels and the faithful will be allowed to intercede and will be freed from hell. Their names will be hell dwellers, but the faithful will be saved and will enter heaven without questions, and idolaters will go to hell without questions. Reckoning will only be for those types of people who are in between the faithful and idolaters and muallafatul kulub those whose hearts can be attracted and those who are muqtanfa who have a little knowledge and those who along with good deeds have done bad also and are with weak faith who are confused about kufr and shirk and do not really know whether to about enmity and will not even choose that path which will make them mu'min or arif these people will be from Ashab al-Araf. These will be those at Allah's discretion. If Allah sends him to hell, then that will be due to sins. And if he forgives, then it will be his mercy. So I said, may Allah keep you safe. Will that faithful who knows and has invited people also go to hell? Alayhi salam Ali said, no. So I asked, will he who does not know his Imam enter heaven, alayhi salam said no, but it is Allah's wish. So I asked, will an unbeliever or an idolater go to heaven? He said, except an unbeliever, no one will go to hell, but it is Allah's wish. I said, may Allah keep you safe. He who goes to Allah has faith, Iman, and knows his Imam and obeys him. Is he from dwellers of heaven? He replied, yes.
when he reaches in front of Allah with his faith, then he will be from those about whom Allah Azwajal has said. And as for those who believe and do good deeds, these are the dwellers of the garden. In it they shall abide. Surah Baqarah 82 Those who believed and guarded against evil. Surah Yunus 63 Those who believe and do not mix up their faith with iniquity. Those are they who shall have the security and they are those who go right. Surah Anam 82 I said, if one goes to Allah with gunah kabira great sin, he replied, it is up to his wish and discretion. If he is punished, that will be due to his sin, and if he forgives, then that will be his mercy. I asked, will Allah send a faithful to hell also? Yes, he said, due to his sins. Since he is not from those faithfuls whom Allah has related in this verse, most surely the nearest of people to Ibrahim are those who followed him and this prophet, and those who believe, and Allah is the guardian of the believers. Surah Al Imran 68. Because those people whom Allah has mentioned are those people who do not have any fear or sadness, they are those very faithful who have a bit of Iman and have not mixed their Iman with oppression. Surah Baqarah 32, Yunus 63 and Anam 82. I asked, O oh, Amir al-Mu'mineen, what is Iman and Islam? He replied, Iman is to understand with knowledge and accept and Islam is to accept, bow your head down and obey. I asked, does Iman mean to accept after knowledge, manfa? He replied, he whom Allah has given knowledge about him, his prophet and his Imam, then he has accepted obedience to Allah. He is a mu'min. I said, that means from Allah is knowledge, manfa, and from human being is acceptance. He replied, manfa from Allah means that he calls and gives authority and obliges and give bounties and acceptance of Allah means that the human being accepts that he is free to oblige whomever he pleases and he develops manfa in whoever's heart he wishes acceptance is among the works of heart and Allah keeps safe whomever he wishes and blesses whomever he wishes and whomever Allah does not make arif he does not have any authority and it is compulsory for him to refrain from what he does not know and Allah will not punish him for his ignorance and will praise him for his act of obedience and will punish him for his disobedience. He who is not arif will have ability to obey or disobey. He cannot remain ignorant when he knows that is impossible and there is nothing that can happen without Gada and Qadr, fate and destiny, without knowledge and book, without any force. Because if people were helpless, then they would be blameless and they cannot be praised. He who is ignorant has possibility of returning what he does not know to us. And he who praises Allah for his bounties and repents for his sins and befriends the obedient and praises him for obedience and will bear enmity towards disobedient and not praise him, then it is sufficient for him to turn his knowledge towards him. Note, the book mentions that what follows or belief may not be continuation of this hadith as the original book says. They will be questioned. From them, some will be forgiven and will enter heaven due to their acceptance of Tawheed and there will be some who will be punished in hell and after prophets, angels and the faithful will intercede for them these people will be taken out of hell and entered into the heaven but their names will be people of fire and in them will be those who accepted and balance Mizan and reckoning Hisab will be for these people because the friends of Allah who know Allah his prophets and Allah's authority hujjat on this earth and those that are witness over his creation and obey them these people will go to heaven without any questions 
and those who bore enmity towards them and threatened them were proud and bore enmity were Allah's enemy will enter hell without questions those that are in between these two majority will be like that and these are the ones whom there is the scale questions and intercession these are Ashab Mizan, Hisab and Shafa'at companions of scale, reckoning and intercession I said you have taken away my trouble given my heart contentment please pray to Allah that he keeps me a friend of yours in this world and the hereafter he said O oh Allah make him amongst the friends Sulaim says Hazrat Ali al-Islam then turned towards me and said why don't I tell you something that I have heard from the Holy Prophet which he told Salman, Abu Zar and Bigdad I said yes oh, he said recite ten times recite ten times Allahumma bi asni a'la iman ibika wa tasdeeq bi muhammadin rasulika wal wilayati li ali ibn abi talib wal itimami ba aimati min ali muhammad fa inni kad wadaytu bi dailika I said, O oh, Amir al-Mu'mineen, this has been told to me by Salman, Abu Zar, and Miqdad, and I have not missed since they told me. He said, until you are alive, do not leave this. Hadith number 8. Aban ibn Abi Ayyash narrates from Sulaim ibn Qais. I heard Hazrat Ali salam saying, when a person asked him a question concerning Iman, faith, the person said, O oh, Amir al-Mu'mineen, please tell me about Iman. After you and accept you, I will not ask this question. Hazrat Ali salam said, A person came to the Holy Prophet and asked a similar question to him, like the one you have asked me. He said a similar thing to yours. Then he Ali al Islam started telling and then told him, Sit down. The person said, I have accepted demand. Hazrat Ali turned to him and said, Don't you know that Archangel Jibrail came to the Holy Prophet in the form of a human being and asked him what Islam is? The Holy Prophet replied, To bear witness that there is no God except Allah and Muhammad is his Prophet. To pray, Salat, give alms, Zakat, visit the house, Hajj, to fast during the month of Ramadan, and to have ritual bath. Then he asked, Angel asked, What is Iman? The Holy Prophet replied, to believe in Allah, his angels, his book, his prophets, life after death, gather of faith, whether it be bad or good, sweet or sour. When the human being got up, the Holy Prophet said, This is Archangel Jibrail, who came to show you your deen. So when the Holy Prophet said anything, Archangel Jibrail said, You said truth. The Archangel asked when the day of judgment would be. He Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said The one who has been asked does not know more than the one who has asked Then Jibrail said you said truth After telling the conversation of Jibrail Ali said be aware Iman has four pillars Yaqeen, Sabr, Adl, Jihad Belief with surety, patience, justice and fight in the way of Allah there are four branches of Yaqeen, eagerness, fear, not too much love for this world, and hope. So he who is keen to go to paradise will separate himself from desires of one's self, and he who fears hell will stay away from forbidden acts. One who does not love this world too much will have troubles made easy, and one who hopes for death will be quick in doing good. Sabr has four branches, 
to think intelligently, to understand the meaning of wisdom, to learn a lesson with knowledge and tradition of those from the beginning. So whoever thinks intelligently, his wisdom will be visible. Whose wisdom is visible, he will understand lesson. Who understands lesson will understand the meaning of wisdom. He who understands the meaning of wisdom, lesson, will come in front of him. And he in front of whom is lesson is like he will be from beginning. Adal also has four branches. Understanding in depth, in depth knowledge, flowers of command and garden of patience. One who has in-depth understanding will be able to expand on it. He who acquires knowledge will see laws of wisdom in front of him. He who acquires the garden of patience will not exceed in his work unnecessarily and will live this life in a manner that people will praise him. Jihad also has four branches. To command good and forbid evil. To act with honesty in all matters, to be angry for the pleasure of Allah and to bear enmity towards evildoers. One who commands good will strengthen the back of a believer and who forbids against evil will humiliate the evildoer. The one who is honest in all matters will fulfill his obligations, who bears enmity towards evildoers and gets angry for the pleasure of Allah, Allah will be angry for him. This is faith, and its pillars and its branches. Salem continues, I asked Omir al muminin Briefly, what is it that makes a person a believer, atheist, and deviated? He, al-Islam, replied, Now that you have asked, then listen. Briefly, a person is a believer when, when Allah gives him knowledge about him, he accepts his master and oneness, and when Allah gives him knowledge about his prophets, he accepts Nabuwa and accepts that the prophet is a deliverer of Allah's command. When he gives him knowledge about his hujjat, Imam, who is on his earth, and his witness, who is over his creation, then he accepts to obey him, Imam. I asked, O oh, Amir al will a person become a believer if except what you have mentioned he does not know anything else? He replied, yes. When he is commanded, he obeys. And when he is stopped, he stops. He, al-Islam, continued, briefly, what makes a person an atheist is when he makes something as his deen and thinks that Allah has commanded about it when Allah has forbidden it. He then makes that as his deen and then chooses enmity and chooses friendship and thinks he is worshipping Allah with his commands. And briefly what deviates a person is when he does not recognize who is the hujjat of Allah on his earth and does not know the one whom Allah has made witness on his creation, commanded his obedience, and made compulsory his wilayat. Sulaim said, O oh, Amir al please tell me their names. He said, These are those people whom Allah has made close to him and his prophets. And he says, Obey Allah and obey the Apostle and those in authority from among you. Surah Nisa 59. Sulaim said, Inform me in detail about them. Ali al-Islam said, There are those people for whom the Holy Prophet, in his last sermon, after which he passed away, said, I leave two things for you. Until you are with them, you will not deviate. Allah's book and my Ahlul Bayt. Because Allah the Great, the Subtle, has promised me that these two will not separate from each other until they come to me like this, showing his one forefinger touching the other forefinger, to the heavenly fountain of Gosar, because in this, showing two fingers of the same hand, one is shorter than the other. You hold these two, and you will not deviate, 
and do not go ahead of them otherwise you will be destroyed do not stay behind them otherwise you will separate and do not teach them because they know more than you Sulaim said oh Amir al-Mu'mineen please give me his name Ali al-Islam said he is the same person whom the Holy Prophet appointed in Ghadir al-Hum and showed him to everyone and told them that he has authority over every soul then commanded that those who are present pass the message to those not present Sulaim said is that you O Amir al-Mu'mineen he salam said I am the first of them and the best of them then my son Hassan is after me who has authority over believers then my son Hussein who is after him who has authority over believers then there are all Osiya of the Holy Prophet at the fountain one by one at that time that person stood next to Ali and kissed his forehead and then said you have made it clear and solved my problem and whatever I had in my heart you have cleared it